This morning we're on the road heading to David, which is about three hours away from our property and it's where we do all of our major shopping. So I'm going to take you on a little shopping spree today and we'll see if they let me film inside the stores. All right, so come along with us. So a little over three hours of driving and then multiple stops at multiple places to buy just a few things which when you move to Panama, especially if you're out in a more rural type area, you will find that whatever it is you need, you will go to 10 different places and maybe you'll find it and maybe you won't. We were successful on a couple of things. We were unsuccessful on most of our things that we needed today, but we will be successful here. This is Price Mart. I'm going to take you in and show you around. Now, let me preface this by saying this. I don't know if they're going to let me film in Price Mart. Um, I had an experience in Dominica, a Caribbean island, a few years ago where when I'm traveling, if I see Dr. Pepper on a shelf, I always take a picture of it because it's like, that's like my thing. I literally just took, I had my phone. I took a picture of Dr. Pepper and I was immediately swarmed by like the Dominica FBI of that store. And they like went insane about me taking pictures in there. So. I don't know if that's a Dominica thing or if they're going to wig out about me doing it in here. So I may have to switch formats to my phone so I can be a little more stealth if I need to. But basically what I want to do is show you around Price Mart and just kind of show you uh, some of the items that are available, some of the prices, and then kind of what we do when we're stocking up. Because we come to David like mm, maybe like once a month or so, something like that, and we do a lot of stocking up on food. That's the main thing that we buy here just because we're a little more limited where we are not that we can't eat where we are, but just the things that we want. You know, like I can't get salmon in Almirante. <laughs> okay, so things like that. All right, so let's head in and see what Price Mart has for us today because I guarantee you it will be different from whatever it was last time we were here. Oh, and one other thing. Make sure you stay tuned until the end because I'm going to show you the one thing you must bring from the United States if you're doing these stock up runs at price mark. All right, so we're in and you can see this, if you're used to things like Costco, this is exactly what it is. It's Costco, okay? So let's head down and start doing some shopping. So you can see that they have like electronic stuff here, televisions, printer cartridges. I got to show you some of these prices here. We have phones here, um, safes, oh, whiteboards. Somebody was actually asking for whiteboards yesterday on one of the Facebook groups. Printer paper. I mean, like all the stuff that you always normally see when you first walk into a Costco or a, anywhere in the States. Appliances. We almost bought our refrigerator here, but we found one actually better and cheaper um, at... I think we got it at Panaphoto. So shoes and some clothes, which... Oh, there's one with a sloth on it. That's cute. So basically what we do when we're here is I always have like a, a list, a running list of what I need. So that way I don't forget anything because it's not like we can just run back over here and grab something. So these are the things we're looking for today. We'll see uh, what we find on them. Bath towels, we've actually purchased some of these. Um, like, uh, these are regular bath towels. I don't know, I think those are like expensive at like six bucks a piece. I'd kind of almost rather go to Stevens uh, or Conway and get them there. That's also in David. Okay, I will say that sheets are not something that I've bought at Price Mart. I did buy some at Conway and they were El Crapo. Um, so here you can see this is for full size sheets. I don't know what the quality is on these. Uh, and the queen. So two complete sheet sets? Wow. Okay, that's not a bad price. Two fitteds. Um, I mean, they're not the most attractive of things, but two fitteds, two flats, and four pillowcases for 22 bucks. You know, it's just a quality issue. Um, 
like I said, the ones we got were junk and I'll be ordering mine from the States from now on. Um, I know these things are really popular with people, all these little um, appliances and things. Here are these Instapots that people love. I don't have one, but there's the price for it. If that's something that you were thinking about buying here. So they have the microwaves and the little toaster ovens. Um, coffee makers. This is something that is actually uh, on our container. I don't know which one we bought, but this is the Nutribullet. Um, so that's this one. And they have another one here, the 600 series for this price. Ours was over 100, but I don't know which one it was. Okay, so another thing that we brought in from the States uh, were our, uh, was cookware. We bought some brand new, really nice cookware because from everything that I've heard, uh, the cookware here is pretty poor quality. So it looks like they're carrying a brand, uh, a brand here called Tremontina. Uh, it says Proline Commercial Grade. I know nothing about it, but if you're thinking about buying uh, your pots and pans here, uh, here's some of the prices you can look at. So that uh, that skillet, uh, 30 centimeter skillet, so like a 15 or oh, 12 inch. It says it right there. Uh, 26 bucks. Uh, two of the small non-sticks for 25. Uh, three pieces? Which one is that? Oh, that's this one. So three pieces, you get uh, three saute pans non-stick for 33. Uh, they, oh, they do have some of the big cookware sets. So here's like this one here. You can see that's pretty pricey. Like honestly, for kind of no brand name stuff. Oh, here's the Tremotina brand again. And that one is 150. So again, we brought our cookware with us because we're not really sure of the quality. Uh, but if you want to buy it here, those are some of the ideas of prices. Okay, so batteries are something that we are out of. Well, we're not out of, we've just managed to lose somewhere. Um, so they've got a few different kinds. They've got some rechargeable ones. Do you know how the rechargeable ones work, babe? Oh, you stick it on that thing. Uh, I just have a feeling that that'll just go out after a while on the water. Okay, so let's look at some battery prices. So that's rechargeable six pack. I don't see, I mean, there's 14 C batteries for $13.49. These are all Duracells. Uh, triple A's, 52 triple A's. Ah, uh, but that's like the member selection. So like the Price Mart brand for 12 bucks. I mean, but that's a pretty good deal. And 15 double A's, no, 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 I'm sorry, 60 double A's for 15. That's a really good deal. We need double A's, so we're gonna grab this one, I do believe. This is mainly for our security system. Okay. And here you can see some uh, small portable generators that they have, ranging anywhere from like a, a 575 up to 770-ish. Um, all your lighting and stuff. They've got some solar security lighting here. A little over a hundred. The wet vac, which everyone needs. 75 bucks. There's some smaller ones. Tool sets, which I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. Oh, here's this rolling workbench, babe, that you were talking about. That one's 529. Oh, Kohler sink, so a good brand, but 350 on that Kohler sink, but it's really nice. Um, mattresses are running anywhere from 230 to 400. 230 for the twins and 400 for the queens. You can see they've got some uh, air conditionings and fans. Exercise equipment, which I never worry about because <laughs> I don't exercise. Uh, this is the car section here. I mean, I don't know what we need at the car section. I mean, I, know, I do know that in the States buying tires is just generally cheaper, but I don't know. Okay, we found something else we think we're gonna use. We've been looking for some kitchen and general cleaning towels. We have some microfiber towels, but they always end up outside and then they always end up covered in some sort of clinging seeds from the yard and you can never get them out uh, because of the microfiber. So there's 36 of these little towels in this pack for 17 bucks. Uh, so that's worth it. We're gonna go with that. Motor oil, uh, 10W30, 12 quarts for 43. 
batteries look like they're ranging around anywhere from 80, 80 bucks about average on the batteries probably. Okay, some furniture, which furniture, oi, 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 is a nightmare um, in Panama. Just quality, style, and price. Whew, you're talking low, low, and high from what I've seen in most places. Um, and they don't really have what I would consider to be true outdoor furniture. I mean, they have this gazebo, uh, which is pretty nice gazebo, but I mean, it's $1,200. Those are, I don't know, that just seems a little much. Folding tables, that is something that we did buy here. Um, that's what we're using, whoops, sorry. That's what we're using in our kitchen right now and as my office chair they had some that were like 35 bucks uh so we got those okay so now we get into the part where these are the things we generally need so uh detergents powder seems to be really popular in latin america but i don't really like powder but i'll show you up here how they have like a bulk one but if you're looking at um some of the the more expensive stuff the brand name stuff the tide pods here looking at 32 bucks for 132 of them and this is the stuff that people I see hauling around a lot I mean you can see how cheap it is so you get um, 10 kilograms of this powder here for 13 bucks so it's definitely cheap I just worry that if I use powder and I have it out that it's gonna get uh, moisture in it and turn into big clods okay here's one other thing I'll tell you they have this solid dishwashing stuff uh, here in Latin America that I am not a fan of at all. Okay, so hold on. So there's this Dawn and there's this Dawn. One is 10 and one is 50 cents more. I think 50 cents more is the antibacterial kind and I'm gonna get that one. Um, anyway, what I was saying is they have this solid stuff. Uh, oh, it's this, it's this Axion. It's, it's like a cream kind of stuff. It's weird, I don't like it, and I found that I used a ton of it to get a lather. So I just went back to good old normal uh, dishwashing soap. I've been using these sponges, but there's a reusable washable one I saw on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't look like they have them here. I can get that over. Uh, Pine Sol, if you're into that. So 11 bucks for five liters. I'd rather do the Fabuloso probably. Lysol. 409 Clorox cleaner oh my god mops mops require like a whole thing like to find a mop here that you pull the handle and it has a sponge and it squeezes out the water where you don't have to like squeeze out one of these dumb yarn ones by hand is practically impossible to find practically impossible we finally found one at do it center I'm telling you if you're bringing in a container, throw some of your favorite mops in there that have the good handles and some of the refills because it's impossible to find here. Everybody wants to put their hands in nasty yarn mop water. Ugh, not me. Okay, so this is a 152 quart igloo cooler for 125. Okay, a seven day cooler. Coolers here are very expensive. These 90 quarts are 100. And here is an aisle that everyone needs. Paper towels and toilet paper. Uh, normal cleaning, like off, if we don't get mosquitoes, which is great, uh, but two pack of off is 8.49. If you get bugs in your house, this bag on stuff is the way to go. We don't spray poisons on our property, but if like something super nasty with a stinger gets in the house and we don't want to chase it down and possibly have it chase us down, then we use Bagon, so two pack is $8.49. This we need. Brian, you passed up the damp rid. Okay, so damp rid is the stuff that sucks moisture out of the air. When I do the, uh, the video about our stuff coming from Miami that we shipped in, I'm going to tell you like the one thing, another one thing you need to bring from the United States, and we use this damp rid in it. So, damp red very important here because everything's humid and everything will mold so it's important for like important books papers electronics all that sort of stuff okay so scott towels 
a six pack is eight bucks. And you're probably like having sticker shock right now because, you know, it really is not any cheaper than the US for most of these things. Um, so an eight pack of the member selection is $8.99 and that is what we usually get. Mm -hmm. so so a um, hundred pack of the 33 gallon trash bags. This is what we put into our trash can that's out on the porch where we put our plastics to take to the landfill if you watched our video on uh, dealing with trash. So we need one of those. We have plenty of the small ones that we use in the bathroom for the toilet paper. Speaking of toilet paper, did we need more toilet paper? I didn't think I put it on my list. Okay, we determined that better safe than sorry when it comes to toilet paper. So the Scott is a 24 pack for uh, 12 19 but we got it with the bag, which is awesome, for the same price. Okay, so that's 24 rolls. Okay, if you need diapers, stay in the United States. <laughs> if you need formula, stay in the United States. So now we're at the section for our baby, um, dogs. Dog treats at Malo, which is the pet store here like super difficult to find and oh my god dog food here is so crazy expensive but here you can get a kilo so that's like 2.2 uh, .2 pounds of uh, dog treats for eight bucks and it's mixed we haven't tried those so we're gonna try them oh those are little I'm telling you dog food is expensive so like that's uh which one is this one this is a uh, yeah so this is a 12 pack of like little little bags of dog food and it's $9.49, pretty expensive. Um, cat food for if you'd want just the, the Price Mart brand, 25 pounds, 25 bucks. Uh, the Purina, same weight, $32.99. Looks like this one is normally 29 for 50 pounds. This is, it looks like just kind of the generic kind of junky stuff that makes your dog poop a billion times. Uh, pedigree in a 55 pound. $34.99. Like, if we had a big dogs, this would be worth it. But having to buy the small bags for our dog because it goes stale so fast, holy crap, it's really expensive. So, this one, 55 pounds for 31, that's a Purina. Um, our dog used to eat this Beneful, but we can't find it in small bags here. So, that one's uh, 48 pounds for 35. So, that just gives you, I mean, they've got a, a pretty good selection here of cat litter. I only see these things for cat litter. It's the the Price Mart brand, and it's uh, fifteen dollars for nineteen kilos, so that's like forty pounds. Sodas are something else that are stupidly expensive in Panama, and I mean stupidly expensive. Um, Twelve pack. This is the cheapest you're gonna find soda is here. Everywhere we go, it's usually sold by the can, so it's usually not even in like these plastic things. Sometimes you get lucky and find them in this. You won't find like a, a cardboard case like you do in the States. And every time a can of Coke is like 70 cents everywhere you go. So when you come here, it's uh, $6 for a 12 pack. So that's 50 cents. Plus we can always get the Coke Zero here. Uh, so we stock up and get ridiculous amounts of that. And I'm not even gonna show you because the amounts are so ridiculous. Okay, funny but true fact, the regular Coke is actually 50 cents more expensive than the Coke Zero for a 12 pack. We so, don't drink beer, and if we did, it probably wouldn't be out of a can. But uh, Balboa, uh, a Panamanian beer, 24 pack for $12.89. Um, uh, here's another Panama beer, 24 pack for 15 If you're on a diet, uh, you can get your Panama Light. And then if you're, you know, white trash, you can get your Michelob, 24 pack for 17 If you drink... Michelob and you're not white trash, I don't need a comment. Uh, Heineken, a little higher end, uh, 22 for a 24 pack. Corona, if you want to pretend you're in Mexico and not Panama, 24 pack. Oh yeah, and if you're super redneck, here's your Miller, uh, 24 pack for 21. Okay, you tend to think that like shampoo is gonna be cheaper when you buy it in bulk. Sometimes, sometimes not. Um, but I mean, I think if you want a better quality one, this is probably the place to buy it. So uh, this one here, we have some of this. It, it's a good one, uh, Amenta, and a liter of that is six bucks. Here's a Pantene. I mean, you can see that's, I mean, I don't know. I don't buy shampoo in bulk at home. I buy it off of Amazon really cheap, like the Suave stuff. 
So that's the conditioner Pantene and the shampoo Pantene. Um, if you have dandruff, then there's what you'll pay for your head and shoulders. Oh, this one's on sale is really good. See, but see, I don't know what, uh, uh, Oro del Fabricante, I don't know what that means, but I mean, 650 for that, that's not so bad. 778 milliliters for the Aussie. Um, like, and so right now, normally like 650 um, for shampoo and conditioner. Uh, so yeah, that's not a bad price. Here's the swab that has the, the conditioner in it. And it's this much. Um, oh gosh, you know what? I don't shave my legs with anything but these Venus razors. They're always expensive everywhere. So 15 of them is 22. Okay, so let's look at deodorant. Here's Secret. Um, this is what I normally get. I haven't bought it here. I've been bringing it from the States. So there's Secret Deodorant Bar 4-pack with 73 grams for $9.77 or 5-pack for that. Um, if you're a boy and you need your Old Spice, a 4-pack is $7.77. Or if you want the Sports, which I highly recommend because you're going to sweat like a pig, get that one. Uh, razors, Gillette, 28 of them for 22. Oh, this is, we don't need it right now, but this is what we buy uh, for our body soap. Um, it's in a pack, so it doesn't take up so much space, and it's, oh, they don't have that one priced on here. Oh, here it is. So yeah, for $4.19, you get two liters, you get this big, like refill pack. It smells good, it lathers good. Highly recommended, like that stuff a lot. The bar soap, you know, you can go high end with the dial, 22 pieces for 10 bucks. I'm sure there's some cheaper stuff down here somewhere. Actually, that looks like about the cheapest one, the dial. Toothpaste can be very expensive here if you buy it at the store individually, I have found. Usually I try to get it off of Amazon pretty cheap. So, um, a six pack of the Colgate Triple Action uh, will run you $9.49, which that's really not bad at all. So I, I do see now that buying it here is just as good, if not better, than buying it off of Amazon. Uh, toothbrushes, uh, eight of those for eight bucks, so basically a buck a brush. Okay, so now we're starting to get into like the restaurant supply area, which is probably not going to be something most of you are interested in. I will say that we do tend to buy this. Uh, we don't need it right now, but this is five liters of, of the olive oil for $22.99. So we do have that. If you want it smaller, um, the two liter is $9.49 here. Works great. We use the wax paper, uh, 100 meters of it for five bucks. We use the gallon freezer bags because again, we stock up a lot. So you get um, 200 of those for 15 bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal. Now we're on the spice aisle. Look, I'm not going through all of this, but this is the spice aisle. And because we're lazy, should we get this, babe? Sure. Yeah. I mean, five bucks and it's all cut up and I don't have to clean and mess with it. Worth it. Um, if you wanted like chicken breast in a can, a six pack is ten fifty, but it's 12 ounces. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Three quarters of a pound. Um, we do tend to buy tuna here, but we have plenty right now. I mean, nobody needs eight gallons of mayonnaise. So we buy uh, the tuna in water, six pack for $6.69. It's a little cheaper in the States. Usually you can get it for about a dollar when you get it on sale, but it's, it's not that much more at all. I am so tempted to get this just for our spaghetti, babe. But what do you think? Okay. Sometimes it's the little things in life. When we were having spaghetti last night, I was like, God, I wish I had some Parmesan cheese. Cheese is hard to come by here um, if you're looking for American branding and, and American types of cheese. So I'm getting this big thing of Parmesan cheese, 680, let's see, it's one and a half pounds of Parmesan for 12 bucks. That'll last me half my lifetime at least. We don't buy rice here because I'm not, we don't, I mean, by here, not at Price Mart, by, but like Panama. There's all kinds of weird brands and I've heard bad things about rice, but nine kilos of rice uh, for 11 bucks. Macaroni and cheese, five bucks for five packs. 
Uh, we do get this La Parmigiana uh, spaghetti. It's 10, 10 packs of spaghetti for six bucks. Oh, that's better. How much? Well, how many? How many pounds is this one? 20 ounces versus that'd be 16 plus eight ounces. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, Mama Francesca. Oh, it's three cheeses in there. Oh, Mama Francesca wins. Okay. So, uh, Brian, instead of just wandering the aisles aimlessly, it was funny because a minute ago when I had the camera off, I asked Brian, I said, are you looking at your list too? Or are you just wandering the aisles aimlessly? And this couple like cracks up next to me. So Mama Francesca has three kinds of cheese, Parmesan, Asagio, and Romano for $8.59 for 20 ounces. So we're going with that one. Just look, spaghetti sauce is, is a thing for us. Uh -huh. So they have a three pack of Prego, that are 24 ounce oh that's not prego that's bertoli right. that's Pertoli. seven oh that's only 7.79 for a three pack it's not so bad and then the prego three pack is 9.99 and those jars this is what we've been eating these are two pound jars so these are a pound and a half so this is the better deal here Quinoa is on sale, babe. Oh my God, it's still expensive though. Okay, so that's 32 ounces. So two pounds of quinoa for six bucks. It's organic and we never see quinoa. So we're gonna go for it. Beans and stuff. I mean, that this one's pretty cool. This is like uh, three lentils, three red beans and one arveja, which I don't know what arveja is. I don't know, but this is pretty cool. This is like a bean multi-pack, uh, eight pack for $7.79. That's not bad. Um, if you have moved here and Sticker Shock has kicked in and you've run out of money, there's your cup of noodles, uh, 12 pack for five bucks. Okay, Splenda is something that we use for a couple of reasons. One, it's zero calorie. Two, yes, we want to be guinea pigs for artificial sweeteners. And three, bugs don't get in it because they don't want to be guinea pigs for artificial sweeteners. Anyway, so a big bag of Splenda here is like 877, which is very comparable to the US. Um, this is the kind of sugar here, the brown sugar, but it's not really brown sugar, like what we think in the United States. This is just unrefined sugar, basically. So a six pack, each pack is, I don't know, probably a pound or so. I don't know how much eight, eight, uh, 800 grams is, but if the hummingbirds ever start actually coming to my thing, I'm going to need this. So I'm going to take this. Okay, so here's some things that like you're never going to find in a normal store. Uh, Nutella, $8.49 for a kilo. Peanut butter, again, not something you're going to find in big containers at any of the grocery stores. So there's Planters Creamy and a 1.13 kilo for $6.19. Or if you want the same exact amount, 1.13 kilos in the Price Mart brand, they have crunchy, I don't see creamy, and it's $4.89. So quite a bit of savings. Uh, same thing with jellies. You get a two pack of Welch's for $4.19. Brian is getting some honey, uh, $10 for 1.36 kilos. Okay, yeah, this I need. So Lipton tea, looks like 312 of them for 10 bucks. Woo, I'll be drinking tea until we sell the property. Okay, so Brian has been drinking this brand of coffee during Cafe Puro. You like it? Yeah, I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. So anyway, um, oh, these are like individual packs here. 36 of those for 10 bucks. Uh, he bought it in this thing. Two packs, four point or 425 grams for 10 bucks. I'm sure there's better coffee in Panama. They grow it here, but you know, sometimes you just do what's easy. All right, next aisle. Juices, I mean, we're not really, we buy juices at the store. I mean, if you are into like cranberry juice. Uh, wow, that says Ocean Spray, but it also has member selection, which is the Costco brand on it, which is kind of interesting. Um, but there's the price on that if you're in. This I've been so tempted to try, this peach flavored tea stuff, but I don't know. See, you have to like stir it in. I haven't, I don't know. I'm not that brave yet to try something new. 
if you can see those Doritos right there, it's like a normal, like big bag of Doritos is like five fifty. Those are my favorites, but never in my life would I pay that. Oatmeal variety pack, fifty two packs for twelve bucks. Again, if you're here and running out of money, that might be a good option for you. So this is a six pack of almond milk for twelve thirty nine, and it's the um, Silk brand. It's good. We like. So they have it either in the sweetened vanilla or in the unsweetened, and it is the same price either way you go. And this is that weird milk on a shelf stuff they do in Latin America. I don't know, not a fan. Mm hmm chicken lasagnas, but they're probably expensive. I don't see price. Oh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. And no, I'm not doing that, it's too expensive. Do uh, you see what Brian grabbed off the shelf? These things. They tend to last forever. We keep them in the fridge, obviously, or they melt, but it's like an assortment of Hershey's nuggets, and there's like, I forget how many pieces in here. Oh, 145 pieces. It's a bunch. So like one or two of those a day, and we're set. Candy bars at the grocery store here tend to run like about a dollar fifty or so for like the American brands that you're used to. Um, so it's definitely cheaper to buy them here. Um, you can see you can get a 30 pack of Mars for $21.29. So that's gonna have um, Snickers, Twix, Milky Ways, Musketeers, 30 bars. So that's that's actually a really good deal. All right, so cookies. Oh God, we eat enough of all this crap. We don't need to buy it in bulk or it will be gone in like 10 minutes. So here's what I'll tell you about granola bars. I just bought some um, at uh, Romero in Changinola. Oh, it was this brand right here. I bought that brand right there, that Tosh in Tanginola. Um, oh, they were so stale and gross tasting. Have you had one of those yet? Don't. Ugh. We have eggs from Popsy now, so we don't have to buy eggs anymore from the grocery store. It's going to be uh, nuts on the right, and then we start into the meat and frozen section. So these pecans are actually a really good price. Um, you get like, I think it's two pounds. Yeah, it's two pounds of pecans for $14. That's not a bad deal at all. And when I was eating keto, I would I would have those a lot. Pistachios are expensive as crap, but they're expensive as crap in the US too. Um, you can do a mixed nut thing, pretty cheap. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you the things that we buy in the frozen aisle to stock up. So here you can get 12 turkey burgers for $12.39. They're good, they're pre-seasoned, they're easy. Uh, we usually grab a thing of those. Oh, pechuga de pollo, that's chicken breast. I don't know. Okay, I have to investigate this. So pechuga de pollo. No, it's just breast, but it's bone in. I don't wanna get them with a bone. <laughs> so now we're into the meat and veggie section. There's not a lot that we usually get here, but I'm gonna look and see what they have right now. So here are the boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and right now they are, let's see, five dollars and nine cents a kilo. All right, so that's five dollars and nine cents per 2.2 pounds, so a little less than like 250 a pound or so, something like that. If you're not, you know, particular like I am, and you want these things, which I don't know what all of them are. $3.79 was this one. Those look like chicken legs and thighs. So $2.79 per kilo. So like a dollar, basically a, a pound, something like that. Okay. Now here's where all the import kind of cheese and stuff is gonna be. And it, it gets really, really expensive, I mean, like you look at this little thing of Gouda here is like four fifty for that little thing of Gouda. Ah, babe, this is the ribeye. We haven't done this one yet. Beef in Panama is heinous, ninety percent of the time. We have found some steak here at Price Mart that we can eat, which I'll show you here in a minute. But I think we're gonna try this one too. So, oh, why is it heinous? Because it's tough. All right, so this is a ribeye. It's um. Eight twenty nine dollars a kilo, so that's just like four bucks a pound, which really is not bad. I mean, you have to cut it yourself, but who cares? So 26 bucks, and we'll get several steaks out of that, and we are definitely carnivores. Yes. Okay, so you get four pieces of salmon in this thing. They're portioned out, they're boneless, um, and there's usually like four to six pieces in a, in a thing. 
and it's $11. Okay, so if you get four of them, that makes like $3 for a piece of salmon for dinner. I can live with it. So, okay, so that was a nice impromptu meeting with Kim from Boquete. Um, we've not tried these yet. Uh, ahi tuna steaks, imported obviously. Um, they are like $15.69 a kilo, so like seven, a little over seven a pound. That's what we pay in the States. So we're gonna give them a try and see what happens. All right, I mean, kind of trashy fish, tilapia, but I mean, for that price, eh, I'd rather have the salmon or the tuna. Okay, berries are difficult to find in Panama. So you get a four pack, uh, four pounds total for $14 here. I would highly recommend that if you need berries for your smoothies. Um, we've been doing all fresh veggies. I started out buying some frozens just because I wasn't sure about all the fresh veggies around here. But now that we're into it, we, we buy all fresh veggies. So we don't even need to stop in that aisle. Uh, if you need three pack of pepperoni pizzas, they're about four bucks a piece. And we will grab this. All right, hard to find. We do have a guy in Davi, or we have a guy around the corner from us that actually brings in whole hogs from David and butchers them there in Bocas. So we get bacon from him, but it's a lot cheaper here. Uh, so when we kind of run out and in between when he doesn't have any, we get it. So the Gwaltney bacon, uh, 1.36 kilos. So that's about a little over two and a half pounds probably for 5.19, which is not a bad deal at all. Okay, so they have um, turkey breast. So you get two packs of that and it's like, let me see how many ounces. 12 ounces, so you get 24, so that's a pound and a half for $6, so that's not bad. So they have turkey, uh, they have premium hickory smoked, uh, carved, um, they've got, I don't do ham, but they have ham is $6.49. And yeah, we do. We buy a lot of American-y kind of things. Could we eat cheaper here? Yes, we absolutely could. I just want to, ooh, I have not seen thick cut bacon before here. Ooh, which one is it? Tocino de cerdo? Is that it? It's got to be that. 16, is it coming in a two pack? I get very excited about bacon. Yeah, it is a two pack. There's not three pounds in one of these. I think the whole thing is three pounds. So three pounds for 16. That's a little pricey. Yeah, that's a little pricey. We'll stick with our other. Hmm. I don't pay attention to where I'm going and I almost got ran over by that. Okay. And we'll keep going. Uh, the ceviche here is nice. Like if we need a snack, if we're like leaving, it's good. So it's like about $6.50 for the mixed ceviche um, and $5 for the Corvina ceviche, which looks, I think, just like a regular fish. But this one has like the shrimp and stuff and all that in it. It's, it's good. We approve of the ceviche here. Okay, there's only one thing in this container that we ever really get because we don't do yogurt. If you do yogurt, um, let's see. Uh, they've got the big things of the yogurt for five dollars I don't really see like the like little, oh here's the little fruity kinds okay uh, 450 for six pack for different like little fruit flavors I see strawberries and things like that on it cream cheese which might be hard to find in a normal grocery store um, they whoops it's this one um, so six pack for 16 it's a little pricey but livable uh, butter 454 kilos of butter, four sticks of it. Basically a pound of butter for $5. Okay, this I can't live without. Okay, eight bucks for two pounds of cheese. A little more, well, a lot more expensive, like double what I pay in the States, but worth it. Sometimes you have to have the comforts to get through the day. If you need other types of cheese, they've got Monterey Jack here. Um, they have mozzarella. Like this is the mozzarella. It's eight twenty nine. That's the Swiss is nine. The Monterey Jack is seven fifty. So they have all those, and then they also have the big packs 
of the shredded if you're into that. Okay, I don't drink. Brian does. You've been buying vodka. I mean, he has to live with me. Of course he drinks. Uh, so Absolute, a liter, $15.99. If you're fancier, Grey Goose, $37 for a liter. Uh, Jägermeister, if you're into that, uh, $22. You know, I don't know all these alcohols. I don't really get into them. But again, you can look these prices up online if there's something specific. We don't buy uh, fruits and veggies here. We buy those at our local market. Two reasons, one, they're nice and fresh, and we like to support our local people. And all of this stuff we can get at our local stores. Well, maybe except for like apples can be a little hard. You can get those at, at in Changanola sometimes. All right, so ground beef we do eat. Um, this one is $7.50 a kilo, which is pretty pricey. Um, this is a, oh, 88.12. That, that's not so bad, fat percentage, 12%. Um, so let's see, so this one is $7.59. This one is $7.09 if you buy it in the bigger pack. Um, so it's, I mean, not really all that much more, but you save quite a bit more money on it. So I'm going to get this one because we like this for our spaghetti and things. Um, okay, none of this packaged meat we buy here at all. There's only one other thing that we buy here that we like, and it's this right here. Um, so this, these are the filet mignons. Um, so it's filet de rays, uh, and they're actually quite cheap. So it's uh, $14 uh, a kilo which makes it about seven, a little less than $7 a pound, which for filet is good. And this is the tenderest meat that we eat here, period. Of course, we haven't tried that ribeye yet. Okay, then that's it. Um, yes, they have lots of fruits and veggies and blah, blah, blah here. Again, we don't buy them. All right, another three hour trip over the mountains and we are back home at about 5.30 in the afternoon. So it was about an 11 hour day going to David, doing all of our shopping. You didn't see all the stops we made. We did a, we did a lot of running around before we went to Price Mart. That's usually one of our very last stops uh, just because we have cold stuff. And uh, yeah, so we're back home and I promised you I would show you the one thing that you really should bring with you to the US if you are shipping stuff in. And that is a large marine grade cooler. Okay, this is for people. Look, if you live in a condo in Panama City, you don't need this, all right? If you live, in the rural jungle somewhere i highly recommend this this thing has come in so unbelievably handy so as you can tell it's massive this is rubber made we paid 109 dollars for it at home depot they are substantially more expensive here in panama but the great thing about it is that when we shipped it we used it as a shipping container i mean ugh, you can see it's big inside it's kind of dirty right now um but we actually packed it full of stuff and shipped it and then of course it was a box. We didn't really like write down that there was a Rubbermaid cooler on the thing. Um, so it was just basically a shipping container going on our shipping container, uh, which is perfect because what this allows us to do is uh, a couple of things. Number one, when we're doing our Price Mart runs, we always have to be very conscious of the fact that we could get caught in a roadblock. Okay, because uh, if you go back and look at my telenovela episodes, there's one in there about roadblocks that happen in Panama. And we can be caught in these for several hours, even a couple of days, depending upon how crazy things get. So it would really suck to buy all of that meat and have it ruined because of that. Plus, a lot of times it's really hot. Maybe we have to make another couple stops or something. Uh, as long as we have this cooler, and we usually stop at the grocery store and throw a bag of ice in there, uh, but I really don't even think we need it just for if we're just doing the short run. But um, if we were to get stuck, it's great to have that bag of ice in there. This will keep stuff cold for like a week. Okay, it's a really, really high quality cooler. I highly recommend you get it. Okay, so what did our entire shopping spree... Uh, sorry, the Cheetras are out this morning. That's another video. Um, or this evening. Uh, so what did our Price Mart shopping spree end up totaling us it was about 420 dollars for all of that meat and we got a massive amount of meat uh for all the little household things we needed all the little food stuffs we needed the towels we needed uh 
the, all the sodas that were ridiculous on. Honestly, with that 420 plus another about 150 probably for the month, that's going to be our whole grocery budget. And this extra 150 are going to be things like our eggs, fresh veggies. And when I say groceries, I'm not just talking food. I'm talking about all of the little household items that we use. So we're probably running somewhere around, I would say, 600 a month in all of that stuff. Sometimes much less if we're using less trash bags or less whatever. Oh, the teachers are horrible. Okay, so not that expensive really. And you can see we don't eat rice and beans every day. Okay, we eat really good. So can you do that here? Yes. Is it a little more expensive? Yes. Can you eat cheaper? Yes. Is Price Mart a good option? Yes, for many people. So you can go to their website and search their products line and it'll kind of tell you what's in stock at each store. Don't bet the bank on that but I'll put the link to Price Mart in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed shopping with me today. Make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna have more shopping videos coming up, more everything videos coming up, and I will see you next Friday because I have a lot of meat that I've gotta go get in the freezer.